I'm going to move the OLED round to this side of the Arduino Nano so that I've got some space here to put uh, a new item on here. I'll come back to that. So I've made up this little seven wide board because I think the span between A4, which is SDA, and ground is seven. So I need a socket for that a header for this to plug into the breadboard and a bit of wires. Let's get started. Let's solder in a four pin socket for the OLED. And that looks like that. Now a seven pin header which will go in the breadboard and that looks like that header for the breadboard socket for the OLED and I've got a wire the in between -y bits up quick and dirty wiring here this one SDA goes to the far left but I'm gonna have to come out of here hop through the board and then come up on the top to connect to there. Yeah, there's not much uh, real estate on this board, so threading it through the hole is proving to be a bit tricky. So that's through there, and then that connects to the next pin along on here, which is SCL A5. So it's a bit rough around the edges, but uh, it'll do, just scrunched wiring on that side. That's okay because it's under the socket height and slightly flatter wiring on that side where the pin header is. Let's see if it works. Right, so OLED fits in that four-way socket. Sits outside the board a bit, but it leaves space here. Oh, I was going to tell you what that was for. But let me just plug this in and see if it works. Yep, yeah, that's good. The transmitter's not on, but... Uh, Obviously the microcontroller wrote to the OLED. Good. And that makes space for the touch switch. Oh yeah. So there'll be a display here and a touch switch. So I can press that and turn on the fan in my shed.